This is a talk about um, the uh, seriality of serial killing and about what is it quite that we mean when we say so glibly all the time, oh, serial killing. What is this serial that we're talking about? Now, I'm not going to... There are as many things that could be said about that, and I'm going to focus particularly on a question of, of a perception of narrative time and the way, the way an idea of seriality, and particularly of serial killing, relates to an idea of narrative time. I'm not going to talk, for instance, about the whole history of the term, which, is, which probably, it's true to say, does relate to um, the idea of serials in the cinema uh, initially, and also, of course, serials in many other uh, media. Um, that, that is behind it, but what interests me really is, is the way in which serial killing and serial killing in movies somehow focuses both the kind of fascination of repetition and the fear of repetition. And it's the fact that it's killing that allows it to be something fascinating, because there's something fascinating about such a terrible act, and of course, something dreadful about it. So the repetition of killing becomes something which address, addresses the, f the fascination and fear of repetition itself as a temporal organization. Ob obviously, the point is you could go on forever saying and on and on and on. And in fact, I took the, uh, that phrase, although of course it's an everyday phrase, but I took it particularly from this um, account of a film called Nature Morte, which is, I say it in, I'm trying to say it in a French way, it's actually an English film, so it's Nature Morte. Um, and it's um, a film which is a very complicated narrative organization. It's very hard to follow. You're not quite sure whether things are real or not. There are hallucinatory sequences, flashbacks. They're not quite sure if they're the flashbacks about the people you thought it was. It's an extremely complicated narrative. Um, and I just thought it was the, the, the experience of the film is very well caught by this blogger, which is actually from IMDb. This movie seems to have no end. It goes on and on and on. One month later, then six months later, it's the same over and over. And I particularly like the fact that he doesn't put any commas. He just has the one comma after no end. And then he just runs on. And I think that the experience of the film is that all these things just run on uh, without any seeming end. And in fact, it's one of the serial killer films which, um, as I will talk about in a little bit later, stops but doesn't really end. In other words, yes, it, you, the film can't itself go on forever, but there's no sense that the killing is going to go on forever. Um, so in that sense, it's, it's on and on and on, even after the film has finished. So I wanted to explore a little bit, what, what does it mean? What, what, what are the implications of, of this idea of on and on and on? And how does this relate to the organization of uh, serial killing?